continue to follow the tragic story out of Table Rock Lake. 17 people were killed after a duck boat sank Thursday night and just within the past few hours today crews pulled the boat from the bottom of the lake under 80 feet of water. This was Mariel Moe's live at Table Rock Lake for us this afternoon. Mariel with the latest on this investigation. Claire Stretch Duck 7 has officially resurfaced, which is the final piece of this investigation. Take a look. It's still taking place a couple miles down the shore here at Table Rock Lake. You can see some of the Coast Guard boats are still out there, as well as several public boats that are just onlookers taking, watching this all take place and unfold. Now, this happened much faster than we all anticipated. The U.S. Coast Guard expected a five-hour salvage operation, and they did it in about an hour and a half. This is how they made it work. They had Missouri Highway Patrol divers go down first into 80 feet of water and connect rigs to that boat. Then the U.S. Coast Guard slowly brought that boat to surface. Once it was above the water surface, they put pumps on the boat and got as much water out of the boat as they could. Then they slowly brought the boat over to the shore, and the plan is to tow it out of here and bring it to a secure location for the NTSB to investigate. Now, we don't know a list of all the damages that happened to this boat from since Thursday, but one thing was very obvious when that boat resurfaced was how many life jackets were still on board of it. The life-saving requirements and, and the regulations require that uh, personal flotation devices be on board for all passengers, uh, and the uh, decision... To, uh, to don those PFDs uh, is made uh, as an operational decision for the captain on board. Now take a look. This is a makeshift memorial we're just seeing for the first time. It's right here at the shore of Table Rock Lake by the visitor center. We've seen several people come by and pay their condolences. A rock representing each of the 17 victims from Thursday's tragedy. Again, we also have to remember 14 people did survive this incident. Reporting live in Branson alongside tables, Table Rock Lake, Mariel Mose, News 4.